Tommies, it's your favorite monster, Anneli Monster here, back with another video. Today's video is a little more relaxed because I'm going to rank Monster High side characters. To be more specific, I will present you my 10 favorite Monster High side characters, inform you about them and explain why they are on my list. I mainly chose characters from the first generation and I'm excited to hear what you think about my selection. With this video, I would like to shine some light on the characters acting in the background. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. In the 10th place we have Miaulodi and Persephone. The Wacker twins are on my list because I'm a twin as well and as a child I felt a bit represented thanks to them even though my sister and I never caused any trouble. Most of the time you can see the two of them on Torelai's side but let's take a closer look at the twins individually. Miaulodi appears to be the dominant of the two. She also doesn't care whether others see her as an individual or as an interchangeable twin because she doesn't care about people who think like that. In fact, she likes the added confusion that comes from being a twin. On the other hand, Persephone is committed to finding ways so that others will never mistake her for her sister again. Although she and her sister get along well, Persephone hates it when the two come into conflict with each other. Being a twin is a matter of cruelly balanced pros and cons to Persephone. On one hand, she has a constant companion in her sister Miaulodi, which is great, but on the other, she feels like they're always being treated like one person. Persephone also has an allergy to birds, which is a secret to everyone outside of her family, because Persephone is embarrassed by how it affects her. Her allergy causes her hairballs and was why she and Miaulodi had to part with their pet canary. Next we have Skelita Calaveras in 9th place. Skelita has always been a very bright and inspiring character for me. Just like me, she is a family person and makes it very clear. She was raised in a warm and supportive household, which is heartwarming to know about since Skelita is based on the family background of Natalie Villegas, the designer. Skelita is a great side character and I'm always happy to see her in media. I also think it's really nice that we now get at least one one Skeleta doll from Mattel every year for the Day of the Dead. This way Skeleta and the values she represents won't be forgotten. Continuing with the 8th place, which goes to Kipling. Kipling appeared for the first time in Escape from School Shores as the loyal right hand of Bartley B. Farnham. He wears a bag over his head most of the time as he is afraid his appearance is too hideous for anyone to see. He is a human with deformed elephant-like ears for which he has suffered much of his life. The first person not to reject him upon sight was Bartleby Farnham, which is how Kipling came to be his assistant. Farnham, however, exploited Kipling's fragile sense of self to control him completely, convincing him no one else would ever give him a chance. Kipling is a character I felt sorry for. He's actually such a kind-hearted and lovely character and in my opinion he didn't deserve to feel excluded and worthless. No one does. So for me it was really nice to see his character develop and how the ghouls have accepted him. Next we have Sirena von Boo in 7th place. Sirena usually put a smile on my face. I always thought it was so cute that she was such a free spirit and daydreamer. Sometimes I wished I could experience my surroundings as playful as Sirena does. She's just a character who always reminds me that life shouldn't be taken too seriously. She just has that go with the flow attitude and doesn't like to be pinned down. In 6th place, I put River Styx, who is a Reaper. Regarding River, I have to say that I mainly like her perfectly shaped concept. From the color palette to her name, everything fits together perfectly. Now I want to go into detail about River's background from Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, Charon is the fairy man of the Greek underworld. He carries the souls of those who have been given funeral rites across the rivers Acheron and Styx, which separate the worlds of the living and the dead. In Greek mythology, Styx, also called River Styx, which is literally River's full name is a goddess and a river of the underworld. So 
that itself is a really cool fact to know about. And now there's also another thing I want to mention. River is often described as having a lot of energy and finding it hard to concentrate and stand still, which screams like ADHD to me. Could you imagine River coming back in the third generation of Monster High and be a representative for the people struggling with ADHD just like Meowdudi is? That would be so great in my eyes. Here's my fifth place and as you can see it goes to Nathan Rot. Nathan is just the perfect match for Frankie. He's the monster that I personally find most charming. Nathan is shown to be a very compassionate, mature, open-minded and patient monster. In Nathan's diary it's also revealed that he wants to be a psychologist to help people with their emotional issues and provide a trusted ear for them to confide in which I believe suits him very well. He's also very clumsy, which he acknowledges and is a bit embarrassed about since he ends in injuring himself a lot, but that's no news to us, right? Generally speaking, I personally really like Nathan, which is why he ended up being fifth place on my list. Before we talk about my top three side characters, here's my fourth place and this one goes to Astronova. Astronova is simply underrated and could have been the key to the Ever After High universe. She just had so much potential and could have connected both universes. Some theories also say that she could have been the daughter of the wishing star. But anyway, I told you more about Astronova in my last video, so feel free to check it out if you haven't watched it yet. And now we come to my top three Monster High side characters. And in third place we have Venus McFlytrap. And I know that this doesn't surprise any of you. Venus and I have a long history together and I really only have sympathy for this side character. In most fiction, Venus is down to earth, kind and wholehearted. Venus is extremely devoted to saving the environment, particularly the flora, and she gets extremely passionate about this. She finds what humans and fellow monsters do to the world intolerable and hates that she rarely sees others trying to save it. Venus is overall a kind and generous monster who cares, and that's exactly what I like about her. And the second place goes to Hoodood. I mean, if you don't love Hoodood, why not? <laughs> I could talk for hours about why I think Hoodoo is great. As we all know, he was created by Frankie to be her emergency boyfriend, but she realized soon after that she wasn't ready for a relationship yet and broke it off, leaving Hoodoo in despair because being with Frankie was his life's purpose. But after a long time, he picked himself up and found other things to enjoy about life. Hoodoot is the kind of person that is always willing to help and almost always looks at the bright side to the point of hopeless naivety. I could imagine that Hoodoot would get along very well with G3 Laguna. What do you think? And now the grand reveal, who will take first place? It probably won't come as a surprise, but my absolute favorite side character is Victor Frankenstein, aka Sparky. Victor is a fragile being who suffers from the lack of family daily. Though part of the monster world, he is not given any benefit of the doubt due to him being a human, which only worsens his loneliness and single-minded drive to create life to keep him company. But throughout the Monster High movie Freaky Fusion, he definitely had a character development and he realized he was not alone. I also think that the connection or the tie to the old monster story of Frankenstein was very well done. Can you tell my favorite main character is Frankie? I don't know, but yeah. For me, Sparky is in first place. And that's it with today's video. Subscribe to my channel if such videos interest you and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!